Hey everyone, it's April back here at fallphototrips.com and yourphototravelguide.com. Reach out to me, I can help you plan the most amazing trip to many, many amazing places in the United States, no matter what kind of budget you wanna work with or who you wanna travel with or if you wanna do it yourself. Um, today's tip, I'm in a series of 31 tips to help you plan your trip. And today's tip is about driving. So depending on where you are going and what the purpose of your trip is, will you or will you not need a car? That's up to you. Um, part of the beauty of going to, say, New England during autumn for fall foliage or even upper Michigan as an area or upstate New York. These are fabulous places, but some of the best little small towns on the countryside uh, you may want, if you've got, say, a week to spend, you definitely want to get out and be driving um, or go with a small group tour. They do have some big bus tours that go through these areas, but you may spend a lot of time with the best stuff whizzing right by you out the window and, and wondering, hey, why can't we stop? This is why you might want to look into either hiring someone to do the driving for you um, I do custom trips for small groups, whether it's a group of women that want to sample all the craft beers and wines and do some eating. They can just kick back and relax and I'll do the navigating, figure out where to go and fit it all into a nice day trip, you know, a day trip each day. They don't have to come and think about all those things. Um, Renting a car, if you are thinking about renting a car, you might want to look at, um, besides renting directly from the airport, check other locations in the city. It might be cheaper to pay for the Uber or take a bus and rent from another location outside of the airport. may take you a little more time, but sometimes you can save a bunch of money doing this. Now, with the major uh, car rental corporations like Enterprise and all of um, some of those other ones, um, there's many of them out there, Alamo and others, you can't, even though you select a class of car and you give them your information, you're not guaranteed to get what you chose. Unfortunately, when you show up, it's whatever they have that day and they will try to match it but oftentimes they try to upsell you. I can't tell you how many times I've had some frustrating experiences doing it this way, especially if you have a group of people and you need to have a big van or you need to have a big SUV. So something to keep in mind, you might wanna check out some of the peer-to-peer -peer sites that are out there and those tips will be on another video. So that's what I've got a little bit about driving, thinking about if you wanna do the driving or hey, enjoy your trip and leave the driving to someone else. There's a lot of services, a lot of boutique offerings out there like myself, where you can contact us and shoot, we'll do the driving for you, we'll do the planning for you, or a combination, and you can really sit back and enjoy your trip. Otherwise, you might wanna think about going to one location. Like if you go to Boston, you do not want to rent a car. You wanna make use of public transportation. San Francisco is another place like this. Parking is a premium, it's just super expensive. Um, some of the beach towns in Florida are somewhat like this too. If you're gonna spend most of your time hanging at the beach or renting bicycles or maybe just taking one or two day trips, it might be cheaper not to rent a car for the entire time, but just rent a car for the day that you're gonna leave the city. Just some things to think about. So hey, this is April with fallphototrips.com. Check the other videos, drop your questions on my website, and let's get outside and explore.